Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marley. I hope you're having a great day. Um, and I should have mentioned in the video earlier that this video was going to go up an hour later. So I apologize about that. I'll try to put it in the comments of that video for the ones that have already seen that video. You will be able to see this one too. So basically, I was awakened at 5 a.m. this morning from a dream and this dream truly truly um, got my attention so basically in this dream I was in this room and there were all these other people that were with me and we were waiting we were waiting we were ready we had our clothes you know, our nice clothes on, like, we were literally ready. We were waiting. And all of a sudden, we went up. And when we went up, um, we stopped at the ceiling. All of us stopped at the ceiling. And we were just waiting on what, on our time to go, basically. We were just waiting on our time to go. So, while I'm up there, all of a sudden, I see... Um, it's like a vision, I guess you could say, inside the dream, I guess you could say. And while I was in this vision, I saw um, someone coming to take my husband's television. And they were going to take it, I guess they were taking it to a pawn shop. Um, I'm not sure. I know pawn shop was mentioned. And once they left with the TV, um, my husband and I decided we would just go get another one. We would spend $300, $300 for a TV that would get a decent one. I remember it was $300. Um, so once I was done with that scene, then I was in a different scene. I was driving a vehicle. And I was driving down the road, and I came up on a flood. There was a flood right in front of me. And while I was, um, while I was driving, my husband ran up because undoubtedly he had called me and asked me to come look. And he came up, and he's like, I just wanted you to come see the flood water. You need to back up and go the other way. And as I was backing up, I woke up now yesterday I had a dream and I mentioned it to a couple friends but I wasn't really gonna post it I was gonna wait but I do feel that I need to po I need to share it so I'm gonna go ahead and share it this is gonna be two different dreams um, the one that I had yesterday I was in labor I remember saying that I was in labor and as we were backing up out of the driveway, we backed up so far that we ran into a ditch. But this ditch was so full of water, like the water went really deep. And I woke up. Now, this is the fourth dream this week. No. Fourth dream this month that had a flood in it. Because I just woke up from another dream, which I'm, I'm not going to talk about that dream. I'm going to pray about that dream. But, um, y'all, whenever I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning, um, Matthew 25 was on my mind. So, I went to Matthew 25. I'm going to put the scripture right here so you can see it. I went to Matthew 25. And in Matthew 25, it said, um, how was it, um, watch ye therefore, because you don't know what hour or day or time that the Son of Man will be coming. That's to basically put it mildly, but I'll put the scripture right here. And I was laying here, and I was like, okay... And then 5.30 came, and it came to me, arise and pray. So, I got up, and I went outside, and while I was outside, I was looking up at the sky, and I'm not sure, y'all, but I could honestly say 
that I thought I saw the word judgment written in the sky. Like, that was early this morning, 5.30 a.m., between 5.30 and 6 a.m. this morning. I was looking up, and I could have swore that I saw the word judgment in the sky. But I can't be positive on that. I can't because, you know, I just woke up. It could have just been a vision that I seen in the sky. But it definitely said judgment. And so I went back inside and I went in my living room and I said a prayer. And then I came back and I laid back down and I went back to sleep. Jesus is coming. And he is coming soon. These dreams are increasing. And I've said that in every other video. But he, the dreams are increasing. And then I had a dream yesterday that I was in labor. You see the earthquakes are starting to pick up in frequency. And they're starting to pick up in strength. I don't know if you saw it. But there was one that today is 6.0. So, um... Be ready, stay watchful, stay prayerful, stay prayed up, and if you do not know Jesus, please do not wait any longer. Do not wait any longer. Do it this minute. Give your life to Him. Repent, be baptized in Jesus' name, and ask Him for the gift of His Holy Spirit, and He will give it to you. And then once you've gone through the plan of salvation that He gave us in Acts 2.38, then... You begin to study his word, study it daily, stay in his word, immerse yourself in his word, immerse yourself in his presence daily. That is where we get our strength, that is where we get our peace, and that is where we get our instructions. That is how we grow close to him, is in communication with him. We don't have that much time left. We honestly don't. Whenever I was... Um, awake this morning I came back in here and laid down um, it came to me that I'm waiting and I'm watching and then blessed are those who are watching for I will reward them behold I come quickly and I, my, my reward is with me so remember y'all he is coming and he is coming soon. We don't know the hour. We don't know the day. We know the season. We know the times. We know what to watch for. Do not be caught unaware. Because he said that day will come as a snare on those who are not watching. So that tells you that you need to be watching. Because he said watch and pray always. That you will be accounted worthy to escape the wrath to come. I love you all. I hope you have a great day. I just wanted to tell you about that dream. And an update on my husband. He is doing better. Um, he's got his energy back. So I don't think it was the virus. I think it was just like a little, you know, a little bug. But he still can't go back to work till he gets the results. So we're just waiting on the results now. But thank you everyone for praying. I hope you have a great day. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. And remember, all my information will always be in the description. All you have to do is go in the description and you can reach out to me personally through my email, my IG, or my TikTok. And I even have my Twitter. So I'll see you in the next video. I love you all. And remember, pray continuously. Stay watchful. Don't fall asleep. Stay sober.